हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बायोलॉजी क्लास ट्वेल्व स्टेट बोर्ड न्यू सिलेबस चैप्टर नंबर नाइन कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द नर्वस सिस्टम इन डिफरेंट एनिमल ग्रुप एंड द डिटेल्स ऑफ द नर्वस सिस्टम ऑफ द ह्यूमन बींग in this video lecture we will study about nervous system of hydra and the planaria as well as we will study about neural tissue student we studied in 11th standard about the animal classification animals are broadly classified into chordate and the non chordates non chordates are lower animals which includes different phyla sponges are the animals which are present in the phylum porifera they are aquatic they are asymmetrical and have a porous body and that's why its phyla is phylum porifera sponges have variety of shapes color and the size these animals are multicellular they do not form tissue organ and the organ system hence they have well organized cell groups to perform the different types of the function in case of sponges proper nervous system is absent cells they are organized to perform the work like digestion respiration excretion etc next phyla is the phylum cylindrata which includes the animals hydra jellyfish corals and sea anemones now we will study about the nervous system of the hydra which comes in the phylum cylindrata hydra it is a cylindrical in shape at its anterior side it has a mouth mouth it is surrounded by tentacles these are the long process mouth it opens into a cavity called gastrovascular cavity which is lined by a membrane called gastrodermis the outer side of the body it has epidermis student look at the figure the yellow color border in the figure is the mesoglea it is elastic supporting layer it acts like a internal skeleton it maintain body shape on its outer side epidermis is present and to its inner side gastrodermis is present mesoglea has nerve net which is formed by nerve cells which connect this both the layers hydra is having diffuse type of nervous system it is not centralized because the organs like brain and the spinal cord formation it is absent the diffuse nervous system of hydra it is made up of two types of the cells sensory cells and the nerve cells sensory cells they are scattered throughout the body wall and the tentacle tentacle it is the structure which is present around the mouth in hydra sensory organs are absent so the sensory cells they functions like sensory organ the second type of the cell is nerve cell nerve cell it forms a network in mesoglea they have the fibers but they do not sensory or motor in nature as centralized nervous system is absent nerve cells interconnected by synapses and it form the network they get activated at any point and generate the impulse 
impulse do not have action potential or the polarity and can be carried in any direction the nerve net which brings the movement in the body or the tentacles for feeding or the locomotion next animal is the planaria it belongs to the phyla platyhelminthes here the platy means the flat the animals which include in this phyla they have flat body structure the nervous system of planaria it is little advanced than the diffuse nervous system of hydra it consists of brain and the pair of ventral nerve cord first we will study about the brain of planaria brain it is located in head region or in the cephalic region it has a pair of cerebral ganglia or the it is also termed cerebral ganglia cephalic region means the head region and the ganglia means a mass of nerve cell so the term is used cephalic ganglia here the ganglia it is a plural form of ganglion ganglion together it form the brain of planaria from cerebral ganglia a pair of cord like structure arise it is called nerve cord as it is running on the ventral side the nerve cord is termed as ventral nerve cord they are ventrolateral student look at the figure the large red color mass it is the brain of planaria and below that a rope like or the cord like structure arise it is the nerve cord nerve cord is interconnected by a transverse or the horizontal nerves called commissure ventral nerve cord it gives a network of nerves on the lateral side it is called nerve plexus on the lateral side of the body sensory cells they are also present they are arranged in the form of the cord and these sensory cells they are connected with nerve plexus which is a form by ventral nerve cord just above the brain on dorsal side a pair of eyes present eyes are photoreceptor organs it is sensitive to light photo means the light it is the organ for the sense of sight in head region some more receptors are present they are mechanoreceptors and the chemoreceptors receptors it is a specialized region where the mass of the cell it is present which is a sensitive and it receives the stimulus hope you understood today's topic thank you for watching this video